Okay, I want to talk um, on yield just for a sec. I know I talked about this in class yesterday, but the video is not being uploaded, and we're going to see yield later. Um, essentially, yield is one little keyword that causes the compiler to dump an entire case of sugar on top of your uh, code. So there's a lot going on in the background. Don't let that scare you, though, from using it. It's not not like it's an optimization issue, it's just there's a lot going on in the background, I want to make you aware of that and uh, we'll delve into that and di uh, expand that later, but for now I just want the basic idea. Um, if we make a method static, uh, I enumerable, and remember I call I enumerable uh, basically an abstract way of, of, of making a sequence of sorts, something you can iterate through or enumerate through, it depends on if you're in Java or .NET, whatever. Um, but get sequence is what I'll call this, and let's just be really easy. I'm going to return a new array of ints. Oh, those are my favorite ones, sure. Um, so then I can say um, for each uh, int i and give me a sequence. Oops, sorry, get sequence um, i.p. So then I run that. And we get our we get our sequence. So then, um, now of course this this is C sharp one zero before we had generics. Now we have generics, so I should really turn return an enumerable int just to be more specific. Uh, the compiler for each is actually sugar as well. The compiler um, converts this to um, something similar to but not identical to I enumerator of int, let's call him Bob, gets, uh, oh no, 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 I enumerable, I enumerable of int uh, sequence, gets, gets sequence, um, and then I enumerator of int uh, Bob gets sequence, uh, give me a numerator, and I hope you guys remember the discussions I did on get numerator, but essentially you can have as many of these things as you want, and they can, Bob, Susie, and Sally, and they can iterate independently through the sequence, but we'll just work with Bob, and then the, and then the compiler says, well, Bob, hey, move to the next element, um, Bob.current, and that's what I did, I uh, printed it, so same thing, get the same output. Um, so that's fine and dandy. Uh, I can't remember what I was teaching. Oh, yield. That's right. So, so one way to produce a sequence. This is one way, and of course, in programming, it gets very complicated. Um, hopefully, not too complicated. But C sharp added the sugar to, to well, well. For example, say I wanted to return some random numbers, uh, three of them to be specific. So. So let me do a var rand gets new random, and then I'd have to make some uh, lists to return them in red like that, and then I can say um, for say I want to do three of them, so that works. And then I'm not big on braces when I only have one line expressions. I can say ret dot add rand dot next, and then I can return ret. So, so if I run this, I get three random numbers, and that's good and dandy. But, but you notice I had to make this temporary list, and so that I could return it. And um, what yield allows me to do is is to get rid of this temporary list. So I can actually say, hey, um, yield return random next, and then the compiler goes through and it doesn't necessarily create the list, but it does a lot of sugar magic in the background. Will um, dissect later, but in the meantime, basically I'm saying, hey, yield return return a random number, and it'll do it three times. So if I run this, I get the same result. So that's essentially um, yield in a nutshell.